Hello, Bonjour, my name is Mathieu Rouguevin Bonville. I am the sales director for the Outremer shipyard. I would like to show you around the new Outremer 51, the reference Blue Water Sailing Catamaran, which has just been named 2018 Best Multi Hull of the Year. Welcome aboard. A cruising boat from Outremer is first and foremost a light boat, also seaworthy and efficient, of course, but it is built to offer greater comfort at sea. The 51 weighs only 10.5 tons, which is about 50% less than most other comparable catamarans. From the helm station one has perfect control of the boat with very good visibility on all four corners. All the controls are right at hand. The sheets of course, the mainsail halyard and the reefing lines. The engine controls are also right at your fingertips. As on all Outremer boats, we offer the possibility of equipping the boat with tiller bars. The tiller helm has a special feeling. The side decks are wide. They allow for easy movement on board. There is a handrail that makes moving forward very safe. Standard equipment includes a self-tacking jib, which can be combined with a code 0 or a code D, which can be mounted on the bowsprit. A compression beam separates the two trampolines, so getting around is easy. The stowed anchor is easily accessible beneath this hatch. In the beam that separates the two trampolines, there is a footprint to stow the gangway to disembark when docked. The diesel tanks are located in large lockers at the foot of the mast. This centers the weight and also provides plenty of room to store lines, moorings, or whatever you want. The mast is very easy to access and the boom is not too high, so it is very easy to access the mainsail. Huge sail lockers are located in each bow. There is space for sails, fenders and all kinds of toys. You can stow paddles, kites and bikes as well. Like all Outremer boats, the 51 has dagger boards. This guarantees exceptional upwind stability, but also more speed downwind. With the dagger boards down, the draft is only 1 meter. With them down, it drops to 2 meters 50. The U-shaped cockpit is very well protected with a rigid bimini that provides complete coverage. It can also be closed with panels for protection from the sun or the rain. The table is large enough to accommodate a dozen people. It easily transforms into a small fixed table on one side and the largest part telescopes down to transform into a platform for reading or naps with shelter from the sun or rain. Very pleasant in the warmer climates. The Bimini also collects rainwater. The pipes lead the water directly into the tanks. One of the very pleasant things about the Outremer 51 is the 360 degree visibility that one has in the cockpit or in the saloon, both sitting and standing. There are practically no blind spots. We have great visibility over the whole horizon. The interior of the new 51 has been completely redesigned. We offer a standard finish in light oak veneer, but as an option you can choose a different type of wood trim. For example, the owners of this boat chose bamboo, and I find that it goes very well with the dark floors and grey upholstery. Of course, all the furniture is made using foam core sandwich construction for a perfect weight savings to finish quality balance. The kitchen was widened and the sink moved to the center so as to create a worktop that is accessible directly from the cockpit. There is a large oven, the hub is slightly offset to create a workspace in the center and there is a lot of storage which will allow you sufficient larder for long crossings. There is a skylight to light the head below and small practical side niches that hold a tray to bring cocktails to the cockpit. The chart table has been enlarged as well, finished with a Corian top so as to avoid wear over time. Of course, it is still facing forward with a dashboard that can accommodate a large screen and all navigational instruments. On an Outremer, it is very important that all systems are accessible. The saloon table can also be folded over at the center for easier access on the side. The optional telescoping table goes down to become a watch berth. The boat comes standard with a 95 liter fridge and can accommodate a second fridge or a freezer next to it. On the port side, the owner's hull offers an aft cabin with a 160 cm by 2 meter berth. It's very bright and well ventilated. There is a large porthole with a sea view. Opening portals at the rear and above make for very good ventilation. There is a lot of storage space in the owner's hull where use of space is maximized. These two shelves on the hull provide structural rigidity to the boat and also serve as shelves. These small sliding storage bins are very practical. To close the door, just slide it across and it reveals a large wardrobe. The entire corridor consists of storage, wardrobes and shelves. 
The owner's bathroom is really very large and bright, with a large porthole and plenty of ventilation. The starboard hull for guests has two cabins, a separate shower and a large head. Regarding the construction of the boat, an outremer is very different from most catamarans. Instead of using the roof to distribute the rigging load throughout the boat, we use a structure, a kind of skeleton, which is an integral part of the boat, which means that the partitions will be laminated directly to the hull, as are all the elements that make up the interior. The small bracings that serve as shelves, the berths, and all the intermediate bulkheads reinforce the structure of the boat. This makes it incomparably more rigid and solid than the elements simply glued in place that generally constitute the structure of cruising catamarans. For example, the daggerboard casing is fused from top to bottom with a laminated partition on the hull, which makes it a one-piece assembly. The furniture we build into the boat is a very good example of our search for weight optimization. Here we have a wardrobe that will equip an Outremer 45. It has a foam core covered by wood veneer. However, it is very light because of the multi-layer construction. It is a sandwich around an extremely light foam. This foam provides a strength to weight ratio that is exceptional. The boat is extremely rigid thanks to the reinforced structure that we saw earlier. All the elements are laminated to the hull. On the other hand, the furniture elements are built into the boat with a flexible joint that makes it possible to avoid all the creaking and noise. The boat is perfectly silent. So, we've seen that weight is a very important factor in building a light, high-performance boat. However, at Outremer, safety is a fundamental concern and we remain committed to the use of monolithic polyester for the lower hull areas, for its incomparable strength. I hope that you have enjoyed this visit of the new Outremer 51. The best thing, though, about an Outremer has always been sailing performance, so contact us for a test.